Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be checking out this new NO I just got. NSX RGT in this crazy blue Spectra Flame. If you're a Hot Wheels guy, you guys will know, know what I'm talking about. This Spectra Flame blue or chromy blue. Pretty crazy looking. I do have a a regular NSX R, I believe. Yeah, NSX R, not GT, because it doesn't have the the wing. But we'll compare those two, and then um, we're gonna have a good look at our, my uh, my Spoon Honda collection. So we're gonna have a look at that. Let's crack this thing open first, though, and uh, have a good look at it. I, I knew I had to have it when I saw it, because. Uh, the blue is just amazing. Let me get this tape off real quick, guys. It's wrapping off. So you get that wrapping. Uh, and then this just slides off nicely. And sometimes they give you extra rims. In this case, they do. And let's see if we can focus this. Yeah, it looked like rays. Yeah, it kind of looked like Ray's. Pretty sweet. Uh, I might switch that out. I don't know yet. But uh, here's the car in the case. And the acrylic case is always pretty nice quality. I never really have any kind of issues with it. And they come off usually pretty easily. Just like that one. Alright. Um, I'm not sure if I want to take it off the base. Maybe we'll, we'll get it spinning on this thing first so we can have a close look at it. And then I'll decide if I want to take it off the base or not. Definitely. Maybe I want to move this up a little bit. There we go. And we'll have a good look at this thing. Now, uh, typically... Um, these ones don't roll, so there's really almost no point in removing it off the base. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty nice. Pretty nice on the base there. You can see it pretty well. Beautiful. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take it off the base because I'm a loose collector. Let's not mess around, all right? Give me a sec here, guys. Give me one second, and we'll be right back. Get this off the base. It's only one screw, anyways. Let's not get lazy. I probably won't put it back on the base because it'll probably look too nice, you know. But that's okay too. All right, let's put this here. We'll take this little stand part off of it. All right, we'll put this on here, and we're gonna lower ourselves a little bit now. Okay. Now, now we can have a good look at it. Beautiful. Even the little uh, mirrors there, they have that little reflectiveness. That's nice. Spectra Flame is looking nice. That blue is looking real nice. I love it. Love the details. I wasn't really a fan of the rims, but now that it's all zoomed in, makes sense. Looks good. I love the carbon fiber side there, and uh, it has a carbon fiber roof as well. Uh, I'm not sure if the spoiler is carbon fiber. Let's have a quick tilt here. Nope, the spoiler is not, but the roof is carbon fiber. You can see the engine, you see the red seats in the interior. They did a really good job with this. Now let's zoom out just a little bit. And we'll put this uh, we'll put this one right beside it to compare. Beautiful. I am very happy to have both these pieces. I'm very pleased. I love the little hood scoops too. Well, it wouldn't be hood scoops, but I guess the engine scoops or whatever. 
Yeah, they both look amazing. They both look amazing together. Love it. Love it. Thank you very much. Uh, my buddy just started a new um, die cast uh, hobby retail store. Um, crazy collectors. He's also on. Uh, he's also on uh, Shopify. Oh. I'll set up the link if you guys are interested in buying this kind of stuff. All right. So let's have a good look at my uh, spoon collection. I just uh, attained a new one. I'm, we might as well have a look at the new one. Um, so this is a Honda Integra Type R DC5. So in North America here, this would be the Acura RSX, which they don't make anymore either. Um, but yeah, in, in Japan, it's called a Honda. You can see it's right hand drive. Well, can you see? Can you guys see it's right hand drive? Yeah, you can kind of see a little bump out there for uh, the steering wheel. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I got this one because it's a spoon. I'm not a huge fan of the newer Integras. I have one of the older DC, DC2 Integras. So the Integra, um, before this one. But yeah, it's pretty neat. It's not. It's not a. Uh, it's. It's not bad. It's a spoon. So I gotta have it. Uh, I also have this uh, Honda Civic Type R. This is FD2. So this is not one of the newer Type Rs. We didn't actually even get this Type R in uh, in North America. So that is cool in the spoon. And then this is. Uh, this is an older Civic, uh, 95 it looks like. Is that, would that be 95? That might be actually be a 94. Oh, it's an, it says 95 anyways. That's the race Grand Prix. Pretty cool. And then uh, all these, uh, I know they have this edged out um, of the casting, which is really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. But sometimes I actually take them out. Um actually take them out of the out of the packaging and actually leave them out there I like this one because I like it so much this is the Integra that uh, that I actually like um, I actually have this one but not with the Japanese front end so the Japanese front end is gonna have these headlights that are on there and the North America one is gonna have those four four individual headlights but either way, it is cool. This one is beautiful. I love it. And then the next one I want to show you guys is one that's actually a custom. And a really, uh, really talented uh, customizer on uh, Instagram uh, made this. And I, I think it's gorgeous. So this is actually a Hot Wheel. Uh, one of the older Honda Civic Type R's and he um, did that uh, I forget what the chrome paint job is called but uh, he did that on there <clears throat> and obviously he did the spoon livery as well nice choice of rims uh, the decaling detail is amazing um, really talented he also tried to do a full carbon spoiler look there so which is really cool uh, yeah, it's just really well done. Uh, you can see the the base too right there. You can, it's, it's cool, even the rivet is colored uh, in the spoon colors. And he he rivets it he ribs he ribs it back together. So you know, which is even cooler. Like really well done for a Hot Wheel. You know, not cheap, but uh, you know you get something that's. Uh, you know really much one of a kind so but yeah all right guys thank you for checking this out with me um i really like my spoon collection so i wanted to share that with you guys and uh i am super pleased with this this is awesome should i switch the rims out you guys think these ones i'm pretty sure you can unscrew yeah you can unscrew and you can just switch the rims out I might do that. I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys think I should put these white rays on there? 
Might make it look different. Kind of feeling the gold, maybe. Well, you know what? Check out my uh, my Instagram. It's the same username if, the, if you're watching this on YouTube. And uh, see if I switch up the rims or not. I might. I might. I don't know. All right, guys. Thanks for checking this video out with me. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.